Good. Yeah, look pretty good, huh? Introduce them, bud. Yeah, I'm going to. Just hold on a second. Just getting ready here. Getting all spruced up. Actually, yeah. <laughs> my name is Costa. I study physics at UW. I'm a six-year graduate student and um, done some teaching and research. Uh, my my particular research uh, field is in space physics. So I study um, the physics of uh, the solar system. Um, so what's outside of the Earth's uh, atmosphere, in between the Earth and the Sun. Yeah, so we kind of were looking to get uh, like a resident science guest on our oh show. <laughs> and so we were just going to kind of have Costa be the science guy. So uh, hopefully you're okay with that. You seem a little a little reluctant right now. But <laughs> I'm sure that'll change, you know. Right, right. Maybe we'll just have to have like, I don't know, some gin or something as we <laughs> do this. Get, get you loosened up and really science. <laughs> We'll let out the scientists. <clears throat> anyway, so uh, we didn't really plan anything today. It was more just like Costa was hanging out and I was like, yo, man, come over here and make a guest appearance. So that's pretty much what's happening now. But um, you got science requests, science topics, let us know and we can talk about them in the future. Um, Costa pretty much stays up to speed on most stuff going on in the outside in the, the atmosphere. science world <laughs> <laughs> sure sure like specifically if you're interested in nasa or space physics or you know those kinds of things um astronomy those are the kinds of questions that uh, i might be able to answer um, Sweet. so what what is something that's going something on something that's new um okay well i can talk about something i'm personally involved with Go for Perhaps. It. Okay, so um, so this summer, okay, sometime from now still, uh, they're gonna uh, NASA is gonna launch a satellite called Parker Solar Probe, and uh, it's a satellite that's gonna fly um, over the course of many years of sort of passing by Venus, um, uh, closer to the sun than any other satellite has gone before. In fact, um, it's gonna go within about 10 solar radii. So that's about 20 times closer than the current um, Earth distance. And uh, it's a pretty exciting mission um, for my particular field because it's a whole you know, area where we've really never sent anything before. And um, just actually, I think, just sending the thing there in the first place is a pretty big engineering achievement, right? Like uh, just getting something that close without melting is a pretty big deal. Um, and basically what they're looking for um, is uh, you know how does the sun's atmosphere change as a function of distance? In particular, they want to uh, people want to figure out uh, what accelerates what's called the solar wind. What is the solar wind? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's the solar wind. I'm on the well, edge of my seat now. I'll tell you. Uh, so the solar wind is a flow of particles that uh, emanates pretty much in all directions, starting from the sun, and so there's like a high pressure region uh, near the sun. Uh, that, that uh, pushes the solar wind outwards. And uh, in particular, there's an area around the sun um, called the corona that is actually uh, hotter than the sun's surface itself. So it's kind of a weird thing that you have a source of heat, the sun, and something that's actually hotter than the source uh, just outside. And you have to sort of um, try to imagine some unusual physics to explain a situation like that. It would be maybe analogous to if you were cooking, you know, eggs on the stove and the eggs were hotter than the pan itself. Um, it's really sort of a conundrum. Or if the pan was hotter than the flame. Or if the pan was hotter than the flame, for sure. Yeah, it's just uh, counterintuitive that you would have the atmosphere of the sun uh, be hotter than the sun. So that's one thing that uh, the this, this satellite is, uh, solar probe, Parker Solar Probe, is uh, hoping to answer. How long is it going to be, like, going on the of the sun? Um, so, let's see. It's going to be launched this summer, so in 2018. I think it'll take, ooh, maybe five years or so. To get there. To sort of, yeah, basically what they're going to do is fly it uh, by Venus uh, multiple times. And each time, 
um, it flies by, there's going to be like a gravitational yeah. assist or gravitational yeah. boost. And then slingshot. Slingshot, exactly. Yeah. yeah. Well, like, Move in a little bit closer every time. So it's going to be orbiting basically around Venus, actually. And then uh, it's um, the closest approach is going to be just, you know, sort of uh, not around anything, right? Just sort of a big ellipse going around Venus and, and getting a little bit closer each time. Yeah. How are you going to make it back? Are you going to make it keep resistant enough to keep to be that close to the sun? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Do you know any? Yeah, uh, I know a little bit about it. Um, this is all stuff you can look up also online. I'm sure there's a website for Solar Pro. But basically, what they're going to do is build a heat shield. And the heat shield is made of um, some carbon composite, right? Um, and there's uh, this, uh, the idea of a heat shield is essentially to um, create many like layers, right? Like one one version of heat shield is just just many uh, independent layers. Each one of them sort of radiates outwards, and each one is just a little bit cooler than the one before. So if they can step down, you know, the outer layer of this heat shield is going to be, you know, like you know, thousand degrees or something like that. But as it as you move through the heat shield, it's going to get cooler and cooler. And basically, they want to radiate the the energy away, even though that that front of the heat shield hot is radiating enough is radiating radiating away as much as it's absorbing from the sun. So by the time you get back to the satellite, it's actually reasonable temperature. But they can still, like how, and then, like a camera is gonna be yeah. going through like multiple layers of glass. So, so how do you, yeah, how do you image the sun through yeah. that? Good question. Um, I think that, uh, that's a really good question. I, I, I think that you can, you can play games with the angle, right? You know, you can poke things out just a little bit. There are also going to be some solar panels that, you know, when it's close to the sun, will just be maybe poking out a little bit. When it's far away, they can extend out fully. And, uh, you know, if, if something's extended out like this, it's going to absorb a lot more heat than if it's um, more at an angle. Um, some of the instruments on the satellites are not are going to be them? just totally behind the shield. Um, good question. It's probably more like engineering. Yeah, stuff some of this stuff I actually don't know much physics, about. So. Yeah, yeah. I've got, I've got a question. What, what do you think about the alien ship that the that the Pentagon released recently? The alien? Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, uh, it's kind of weird. that nobody really cares about it. But, yeah. Like an alien they, program. No, they literally. I heard there was like a rock star who was I, like involved in it too. I, actual UFOs. Mm. <laughs> it's from the, like it sounds it sounds crazy. It sounds like the shit that we've heard for a minute, but like it's actual proper news. It looks like some shit from Star Trek. Star Trek, I think, it's moving against the wind mm. faster than the jets can move against the wind. So okay. And it's, it starts to rotate while it's moving against the wind. So it's literally like doing a 360 while it's like being buffeted by by winds. And moving on fast, like the Earth's winds, you mean? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Um. I wonder what it could be. Uh, and they found some weird, like just some, some random cylinder flying through the atmosphere. Was it yeah. burning up in the atmosphere? No, no. Those are videos. Those two videos, actually. Huh. Don't find it yet. Hmm. Looks like a top. Or it's what the fuck? Like, I don't know. Wouldn't it be weird if flying saucers actually looked like exactly how we imagined them? But that's that was only just a silhouette. Yeah, it's and true. It, it Could... would make sense because people have described the same kind, of similar silhouettes and shit, but they they never really got like a full description. So maybe we just kind of pictured what it was, but we maybe we're close. But yeah, I mean, I don't know, like. I have, I think it's interesting. I, I have a hard time believing in like something that just like flies through the atmosphere, you know, without anything more to go off of. Yeah. Um, you know, because there have been so many sightings over the years of different things. Um, I will say, I mean, I, I definitely think it's possible for life to exist on other planets. Yeah. It we'll seems like almost likely. Yeah. yeah. The, the only thing that I really found interesting about this was the source, because it's the most credible source yet. Mm -hmm. And yet. Hmm. Like, this, like, the video itself is nothing impressive. It could have been fake. Yeah, it's like, kind of, kind of yeah. just fuzzy. But the fact that it came from the Pentagon is fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, what I, I, I say just hold on to all those things. Yeah. 
Like, why would you even <laughs> tell people? They even, we kind of don't really need to know. Hmm. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's to distract us or to... Yeah, from, from what else is going on? <laughs> Yeah. But you guys, maybe, maybe, maybe what I'm talking about is just to distract everyone from what you guys just talked about, <laughs> yeah. like the real political stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I mean, there are so many videos you can find of like UFO sightings, and like even I don't know. I've seen ones that like on cell phones of like lights in the sky doing weird stuff, yeah. and it's like there's always a bunch of China. It's... Yeah, I mean, I, it's always possible that it could be like a balloon. Moving, like, moving act quick, like the side, like the jet is not is not stationary. It's also moving pretty quickly too, and it's kind of move, it's moving faster than the jet. Could it just be like a bug on the camera lens or something? <laughs> it could. <laughs> <laughs> that higher, wouldn't it get blown No, up probably by not. The, oh, okay, outside. Yeah. Unless they have like double or triple plate glass with space in between, it doesn't really add up. All I'm saying is that, honestly, fuck it, if the aliens come, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, true. If the yeah. aliens are here, there's really nothing we can do about <laughs> it. Their technology like outmatches ours. They've flown through interstellar space. Yeah. And it's like cone heads. <laughs> sure, sure. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Wasn't that an SNL heads. thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah right. <laughs> I saw uh, Star Wars on yeah. Tuesday. Oh yeah. Pretty good. Don't let the critics get you down. It's a pretty good one. I liked it. It went on for like there were a few scenes they could have cut out, but you know I thought that uh, they made took some risks and they paid off. You know, and it was overall very enjoyable. Yeah, I'm planning to see it. I haven't seen it yet, but. <laughs> You're just gonna be like the disembodied voice of the yeah. video. Like, <laughs> Grab a seat. <laughs> I kinda like this one. <laughs> <laughs> We're just getting interrogated. You just be our conscience. Behind the camera. I'll just look around and you can like be my thoughts. Well, you can't say too much about Star Wars stuff, it's gonna spoil it for people. Yeah. That's true, we shouldn't talk about it. Yeah. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck everybody watching this shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's <boring>. true. Yeah, <laughs> like... <laughs> just completely spoiled the movie for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ruined ourselves, but, like, fuck it. <laughs> oh, you guys haven't seen it. So really, yeah. I would ruin it for you and for yeah. everyone else. Well, I'll probably forget. If we went there. <laughs> Is it better in 3D or should I just fuck it? Uh, it's in 3D. I don't know. I don't know if it's in. Always, I don't think it's in 3D. IMAX. They always make oh, really? those kind of movies in IMAX. Yeah, probably. Uh, yeah, it's probably better in 3D. You should see it too. Get those lightsabers, you know, swinging over your head. <laughs> you can't. You can't really watch 3D movies if you have glasses because it does some weird shit that like it refracts. It refracts. Fuck. <laughs> it, it, it like the. It just it doesn't yeah, work anymore. You kind of see like the outline, like how like you put you know wearing oh. the glasses. Like the outline that you see, huh. you can see it like through the, that in your actual glasses. You see watched, like two images? Yeah, like you can see like the like the light of uh, fuck up. Like you know the 3D shit, those outlines, apart from like the solid shit, like tiny little like thin yeah. like blue lights or green or some shit. Hmm. Like, yeah. Because that, that kept happening when I was watching Thor. Huh, oh, that's weird. Yeah, don't you have contacts you can throw on yourself? I'm like, bro, I'm not touching my eye, bro. Fuck that shit. Yeah, it freaks me out too. I just wear glasses. I don't want to be like sticking yeah. things in there. Because my eyes are small as fuck. It's your choice. <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. Why would you want to touch, like, what, what possessed the guy to make that shit? Yeah. Mm. Why are you sticking your finger in your eye like, like that? Imagine how, how many times you have to experiment on that. Fuck that. Yeah. yeah. Somebody went through a lot yeah. of shit for that. Clinical trials and shit for contacts. Fucking yeah. yeah. Well, it was like a fashion thing, right? Yeah. Like, people thought that like wearing glasses was like really nerdy. Now glasses are cool again, and yeah. the people, the contacts are actually kind of nerdy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Unless you get like the like cat eyes. No, those are even worse. Those are. That's, that's just something else. That's or, like the that's yellow. A, that's the one that damage so man. Like Damn it, you saw me. Yeah, something happened to you. Do you guys 
Yeah, 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 <laughs> Don't be afraid to ask. You need to get a choice. You need to get a choice. No, I'll take it. You want to? You got questions resident. about UFOs? This is our man right here. Yeah. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, Loch Ness monster. That's what the scientist yeah. is for. Just give me the craziest <laughs> things you can imagine. Or yeah, yeah. Okay. Movies, movies too. Star Wars. <laughs> I will gladly talk about that. We'll just t- keep talking about Star Wars every week. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll spoil it for you every week. <laughs> All right. Peace.